Hello everyone, this is Hari from SyncEasy and I want to share uh, some a quick demo of our Pro Core to Box integration. Um, we'll jump into the demo shortly. We'll just go through a few slides and quickly jump into the demo. Firstly, the plan, it comes with a very generous free plan. You can sync up to five projects between Pro Core and Box for free. We give you 2GB of data sync and it comes with pretty much most of the same features as the paid plan customers except for the 2GB data limit and a five project data limit. Um, but other than that, you can continue to use it unlimited. We've got hundreds of Procore customers and we've been on the Procore marketplace for a very long time. Um, some of our security certifications, especially if you're using Box, we've got a SOC 2 Type 2 certification. You don't need to install anything. The integration is 100% cloud-based. We offer 24-5 support, and obviously we've got another CASA security certification. So the way the integration works, and we will see this shortly, is basically it takes all of the data from Procore documents, photos, submittals, and RFIs, and syncs them back into box and box folders. Uh, with the documents and photos, it's a full two-way sync. With RFIs and submittals, it is a one-way sync. So for documents and photos, you can actually add data in box and that'll go back to Procore. For other things where you have RFIs and submittals, these are more a one-way sync where you add the data in Procore and they go as a PDF to box. Obviously, you have got you get the full box benefits and I won't go through this, you can read through this later, but you'll have your entire data available in box that's the biggest advantage and you can use the data in box and have that come back into have that come back into um, procore and vice versa so how does this work so basically you come in to our integrations portal come into syncazy.com and create an account once you've created an account you can click on procore to see all our procore integrations and this specific one we're talking about is the Procore to Box integration. When you view pricing, and there are a few plans, but we will start out with the Procore Box free plan. Um, simply come in and add an integration. And that should be uh, fairly straightforward. There should be an integration added. Uh, obviously, it will say Box and Procore disconnected at this stage. Make sure you open a new browser tab and then log in to Procore with the ID that you would like to use in the integration. So in this case, I'm using my own ID and the same thing in box. Um, I would recommend creating a, a top level folder and calling it whatever, it, ideally better to have the same name, but you can, you can call it whatever you want really. So I'm just calling it Wellington Opera House because that is the project that we've created in Procore, but it can be a different name as well. Once you've done that, you basically come in here and connect <clears throat> Procore. I'm authorizing the integration and that connects Procore. Then we come in here and connect Box. Uh, now, obviously for Box, we'll need to give API access and authorization. So that's going to grant access to Box account. And once you've granted access to Box account, that uh, basically allows the integration to then do its own thing. Once you've connected Procore and Box, you'll end up on a screen like this. Um, this is a dashboard currently empty, but obviously over time it will populate with a lot of data. Um, the next step is to connect a particular Procore project to Box. In this particular case, I'll go in here and add a project. Um, I am going to choose the company that we have here, which is a SyncEasy demo company. So I'll choose the demo company. And then within the demo company, I can choose um, the project. In this case, I just created a new one, Wellington Opera House. And we allow you to sync multiple tools from Procore to Box. In this case, we're doing documents, photos, RFIs, and submittals. Uh, on the box end, you can choose what location you want to sync the data into. In this case, I'm going to go in and select the parent folder for this particular project. Again, as I said, it doesn't need to be the same name. It could have been a different name, but we've just kept it the same name. You can also go back and click on this folder to look at the same location in box later. Uh, but you basically select the project and then you add, a, select the path and then you add a project to sync. 
Remember that once you've added a project to sync, you cannot change the parent path on the box side. So this project has been added and uh, you can see the project has been added. So in the next sort of five to 10 minutes, you will have all of the data from Procore uh, syncing back into box. Now in this case, in the, in the Procore end, I've just added some standard folder structure. It's got a, it's got a bunch of folders and some structure. Uh, and you can see in the box end, this uh, was actually completely empty. So this, as you can see on the box end is completely empty, Wellington Opera House. And give it about five or 10 minutes, what will happen is, so if I just go back here. So basically once you've done the configuration of the project, you come in here into the file manager, you can come in and select the project and hit search. And this will show you the data syncing between the two. As you can see, it's still syncing alphabetically, so it hasn't synced the 900 folders yet. But uh, in time, it's going to sync everything and you'll have everything in Procore being the same as everything in Box. So I'm just going to hit search again because it is going through now. Perfect. It's done that. And you can also see that in the in the, uh, in the sync status page where you will, you'll be able to see, you know, what it's actually happening is saying downloading the folders and then completing the sync. So this way, this particular folder in box, as we saw, it was empty earlier. If I hit refresh, you've got the three parent folders for each of the tools. And then once inside documents, you have the same structure as what's available in Procore. So just to put that in context, here is our box. And here is my Procore. We've got the same folder structure across. Now, in this particular case, just for the speed of the sync, I've shown an empty project, but this works exactly the same with, with data and files. And you can see all of that right within the file manager here. So we show you everything within the file manager. And once that is complete, it will automatically start a two-way sync. So initially, once connected, it's, it does a one-way sync from Procore to Box. Once that is completed, it will automatically switch to a two-way sync. Thank you. This is an overview of the integration. If you get stuck anywhere or if you need help, you can always reach out to us by clicking on uh, the chat here or uh, just contact us on the phone or email. We're pretty easy to reach. Um, you can also book a direct meeting with us if you'd like. Um, if you've got any further questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you. Bye.